Hello, you are welcome. In this video, we have this interesting Olympias problem. We are going to evaluate with our calculator 2, 2, 2, 2 raised to the power of 2 minus 1, 1, 1, 1 raised to the power of 2. Now we can compare this to difference of two squares if you have a power 2 minus b power 2. This equals a plus b times a minus b. And in this case, our a equals 2, 2, 2, 2, then b equals 1, 1, 1, 1. We can insert these values for a and b respectively. So we are going to have 2, 2, 2, 2 plus 1, 1, 1, 1 times 2, 2, 2, 2 minus 1, 1. 1, 1. So the next thing we are going to do is to add up what we have inside this bracket. This will give us 3, 3, 3, 3 times, while this will give us 1, 1, 1, 1. So the next thing is for us to factor out 3 from here, we are going to have 3 times 1, 1, 1, 1 times 1, 1, 1, 1. Remember, if you multiply this, you will definitely get this again. So that means we are going to have 3 times 1, 1, 1, 1 raised to the power of 2. Because this simply means what we have written down here. So what is the value of 1, 1, 1, 1 raised to the power of 2? That's what we are going to find out. So let's multiply it out. We have 1, 1, 1, 1 times 1, 1, 1, 1. That is the meaning of this raised to the power of 2. So, we can start with this. Let's use this 1 to multiply everything. That means we are going to have 1, 1, 1, 1. That is 1 times everything here. Now, let's go ahead and use this. We are going to have 1, 1, 1, 1. If you use this to multiply everything, then if you go ahead and use this to multiply everything, you have 1, 1, 1, 1. Then finally, if you use this last one to multiply everything here, you have 1, 1, 1, 1. So finally, you need to add up everything here. So you bring down this one. You add this, you have 2. You add this, you have 3. You add this, you're going to have 4. Then you add this, you're going to have 3 again. You add this, you have 2. And finally, you have 1. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1. So this is equivalent to saying 1, 1, 1, 1 times 1, 1, 1, 1. So we will make use of this value. And remember, we still have times 3. So we will multiply that value by 3. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1 times 3. So let's carry out the multiplication. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12. So we are going to write 2 and carry over 1. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. We write 0 and carry over 1 again. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus this 1 is 7. So we have 7. Then what again? Finally, we have 3 times this 1 again. We are going to have 3. So we write the 3. So we have 3,702,000 963. So this is our final answer without making use of a calculator. I believe you enjoyed the class. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share this video to your friends. Thank you and have a wonderful day. So you can write it as 3702963. And this is the final answer. Goodbye.